So some people would argue about this rope to reuse it. I never do. They're not that expensive. You're already buying seals and spark plugs and coils and fuel line and a carb gasket set and all kinds of other parts to redo an engine. Why not spend a few more dollars and get a new shiny rope? Last thing you want when you're out in the water is rope break. So let's get the starter off here. So I pulled it out a little bit. What I do, force the uh, knot out of there if you can. So all I'm going to do is cut the nut off. Still holding the rope here. Slide the handle out. Bring the rope through. Let the starter slowly retract. That'll get the tension off of it without it going too crazy. It's bundled up there. There's probably still some on there, but the vast majority of it's off. Top nut and this one. the rest of the way and starter can pull out there's your starter now we gotta get the spring out of there there's our spring and the little bottom part so let me show you how this works real quick in case you're curious and can't, still can't see it See that roll pin down there? Starter spring goes down, installs onto the roll pin like so. So that roll pin keeps this thing from spinning. There's a little slot on the bottom fits inside that roll pin. So pretty easy setup. Similar to the six point well six horsepowers, well and the newer eight horsepowers, just a uh, lot longer. So for safe stowage, throw the thing back together. If I can figure out how. Just like so. Yep, there we go. See? Perfect. Alright, what will I do next? Let's do the tiller handle. <laughs> 